Hey, I want to talk about how to make your own watercolors today and also how to do a crayon resist watercolor painting. So first of all, we're going to need some watercolors and a couple of paint brushes or one paint brush, whatever kind of paint brush you happen to have at home is just fine and some crayons and obviously some paper, something to work on. Now, if you don't happen to have your own set of watercolors at home, here's a trick that you can do. Now, I wanna say never to get rid of your old markers that are dried out because you can take these markers and we can um, soak them in water to make our own kind of paint. So here is an example. I just have the primary colors mixed up here. I have some blue. Let's focus in here. I've got some blue soaking and some yellow soaking and some red soaking. Now, here is, it. now if you just soak these for a few hours, these have been soaking for a couple of hours, but usually soaking them overnight works best. When the tips, this one here is almost ready, for example, let's focus in here. Can you see how the pigment is seeping out of that tip there. When the pigment is all soaked out, the tip will turn white, and then you will know that all of that color has been absorbed into the water and it has been sucked out. So if I leave these overnight, these tips should turn white, and then your paint should be ready to work with. So I've got yellow and blue, yeah, there's still quite a bit of pigment left in there. They've only been in here for a couple of hours, but if I left them overnight, they would start to turn white, then I would know that that's ready. Okay, so that is how you can make your own watercolors. And honestly, you just need your primary colors because from your primary colors, you can make green and you can make orange and you can make purple. I don't have a whole lot of water in there. You don't wanna fill your jar too much um, because then your color will be too diluted. But I would say maybe doing about a quarter of a cup or less in each jar is about right. And let me show you what that will look like now. So if I dip my brush in here, and you can see how, let me focus in on that, you can see how nice that color is starting to come out just from the liquid watercolor. Okay, so that is how you make your own watercolors from dried out markers. All right, so start hanging onto those markers because we are going to be doing some watercolor paintings.